Hello, welcome to an e-demo on upgrading your Video Edge to version 4.9. The upgrade to version 4.9 is a little bit different from other upgrades in the Video Edge product range and the reason for that is that the 4.9 release introduces a new version of the Video Edge operating system. You can upgrade to version 4.9 from all Video Edge versions beyond and including Video Edge 4.4 Patch 2 and the build number for 4.4 Patch 2 is 4.4.0.800. So let's then take a look at how we can carry out this update. So first of all, I've navigated to the AmericanDynamics.net website and I've downloaded two things. I've downloaded the Video Edge updater and I've also downloaded the Video Edge 4.9 update file which is a .rpm file. So let's now go ahead and install the Video Edge Updater. I'm just going to double click on the file that I've downloaded and I'm going to first of all agree to the license terms and choose install and that will very quickly install the Video Edge Updater. You'll see here I have a checkbox at the bottom which allows me to launch the Video Edge Updater directly from the installer. I'm going to keep that checked. If you want to do your update to 4.9 at a later date you can uncheck that box and you can find the updater in your C program files Tyco Video Edge Updater directory. Okay, so if I just choose finish then, the Video Edge Updater is launched. And the first thing I'm going to do in the Video Edge Updater is to choose the Add Recorder button. And I'm going to enter the IP address of the Video Edge Recorder, which I want to update. And then I'm going to choose OK. Of course, I will have to have network access to all of the Video Edges I want to update from this PC. And I can add multiple recorders in there just by choosing the Add Recorder button again and just adding each IP address in individually. Okay, so moving down then, you'll see we have the Video Edge account username which is pre-populated with Video Edge. And all I need to do is enter that user account's password and that is the Video Edge user account for the Linux operating system of your Video Edges. And it's important to note that if you are updating multiple video edges at once, these will need to share the credentials which you're entering here. The next field then is the root password field, and I'm just going to enter my video edges root password there. And I'm going to just keep my base port as the default 22. Moving down then, we have three buttons. So the first one is check credentials. And if I click on that button, it's going to reach out to all of the video edges which I've added and it's going to verify the usernames and passwords which I've entered there. And you'll see down in the bottom of the video edge updater, we have a log window which shows us authentication success for those accounts. Next, I'm going to choose the check version button. And again, that's going to reach out to all of the video edges which I've added to the Video Edge Updater. And it's going to confirm the current software version is able to upgrade to version 4.9 directly. And again, you can see at the bottom there we have the current software version of my Video Edge. And it's listed as 4.8.1. And of course, you can upgrade anything from 4.4 patch 2 to 4.9. And the final th of the three buttons up here then is the check compatibility button. And if I just click on it, it's going to again reach out to all of those video edges. And what it's going to do is verify that the partitions on the hard disks in those video edges are set up correctly for the upgrade. Okay, so moving down the window then, the next thing we need to do is point the video edge updater to the Video Edge update package which we downloaded from the AmericanDynamics.net website ahead of time. So I'm just going to choose the Browse button and navigate to the file which I've downloaded and again that's going to be a .rpm file. And there it is, so I'm just going to select it and then I'm going to choose Open. And once we've done that we're ready to begin the upgrade. There's a few phases in the upgrade procedure. So first of all we're going to upload the update package to the video edge and then we're going to install that update. Once we're happy with our update we're going to finalize the install. You can actually do the upload and install in one step using the upload and install button but I'm going to do it separately so I'm going to just first of all choose the upload button. We're going to get a pop-up window which is asking if we want to initiate the upload to the listed video edge recorders and I do so I'm going to choose OK.
and once that upload is complete we're going to get the finished with upload ready to install message in our log window at the bottom there so next what I'm going to do is choose the install button and we're going to get a couple of pop-ups this time first of all we're going to get one which lists the video edges again and it's going to ask us if we have completed a backup of those recorders I've done that ahead of time so I'm just going to choose OK and then next we're going to get a message which is advising that all exported clips on this video edge recorder will be deleted prior to performing this upgrade and again do I want to continue I'm good with that so I'm going to choose OK OK, so once that install has completed, we now have two versions of Video Edge installed on our Video Edge recorder. We have the previous version and we have version 4.9. And if I just open up my Video Edge interface, I'm just going to open up a web browser and navigate to the IP address of it. And I'm going to log in to the Video Edge administration interface as an admin user. We'll be able to see at the top of the interface we have this operating in temporary upgrade mode message and that just means we have those two versions installed side by side. We also have the new version which we've installed in the upper right hand corner which is 4.9. Okay so at this point you're going to need to confirm that your video edge is performing correctly and as you would expect it to. And once you've confirmed that you can go ahead and finalize the install. So I'm just going to choose the finalize install button and again we're going to get a pop-up message here this one is advising that this final step of the upgrade to 4.9 will take around about 10 minutes or longer I'm okay with that so I'm going to choose OK and once the finalize is complete you're going to get the log message at the bottom there that says finalize install complete and it's going to advise what version of Video Edge you're now running so let's go and take a look at our administration interface again. I'm going to open up that browser window and I'm just going to refresh it and you'll see then that the operating in temporary upgrade mode message has disappeared and we're still running version 4.9 so that's our upgrade to 4.9 complete.